All right, all right, all right. What is up? We are back, back with another ABX special. This one's coming at you hot, right off the skillet hot. Although I do have to say I'm a little upset because, you know, we're kind of a day late and a dollar short on this. And I mean that in an almost literal sense because by the time this gets posted, most of you guys already have run, right? It's not going to be too long before reset actually hits. So I apologize for that. But duty calls, you know, responsibilities, I'm sure, you know, everyone can relate. So, you know, moving forward, I'm going to try to adjust some things and get some of these videos out, you know, sooner than later, like right when reset hits. Although I feel like there's not a lot of days that people really have trouble with or, or need, you know, a lot of help with, but, you know, I'm going to do my best here. We'll, we'll see, we'll see what the future holds for us. A uh, couple things I want to mention. So yeah, this run actually, it, it took me a little while to get. It was really annoying and frustrating because Zemo, sometimes he just, he just doesn't want to cancel, right? That silence just doesn't want to activate. Um, somebody mentioned that you can level them up, right? If you have them like 62 or, or, you know, even closer to 70 would be better. So I, I am at 60. Um, I, I haven't tried that. That's just what I heard. You guys can try that if you're having, you know, that much trouble. Uh, a couple other things you could do is, you know, he, he likes to strike as well, her, uh, him and Raven. So, you know, unless you're trying to get the max score possible um, and, you know, it looks like you're on pace to cap. Um, don't attack right around that time. All right, I'm sure we all even know that. Uh, let's talk about the, let's talk about the builds. So, team up, pretty obvious. We have Zemo, we have Raven, and we have Bullseye. And... With team up, this guy's rocking 64,445 physical attack on him. I have everything capped. I have a pretty good build on this guy. He has 20 Odin's Blessings, right? I spared that at, at no expense. Um, fully upgraded, age 12, power of Angry Hulk, and he is rocking a Rage. Rage is most likely going to be best for him. Um, I've been, I've, I've heard that you could possibly use him with an en energy i'm not sure what his rotation would be i would i would imagine it it has to get switched up a little bit um and i've seen some videos out there and i'll say what i'm doing might be a you know it, it's a little bit different <clears throat> and i've tested you know different different strategies and i think this one is the best for maximizing uh your score and you'll see it you'll see it in the run uh, so Raven with team up 53,042 <clears throat> everything's capped except ignore defense just a little short there 1.14 short <clears throat> there really wasn't anywhere I could pull that from unless I just wanted to take one of the Odin's blessings off and just give her an ignore defense Uru uh, her again you know I mean she max build 20 Odin's blessings and a rage with a stage 12 power of angry hulk oh in uniform right you guys want to see that Let, let's see i don't even know if i have all these options at mythic i would imagine that i do and i do so that's what we're that's what we're that's what we're twerking with there um so yeah this run actually like i said was really annoying trying to get a, a good run a good representation a good demonstration uh recorded and this one i was actually three hundred thousand points less at the first roar than where like i normally was so i scored 7.85 uh, i would imagine it can go at least three hundred thousand points higher at least you know on, on my account with a good run um I mean, everything else aside, um, maybe besides the first like minute, you know, if something happened, procs weren't activating or, or, or whatever, which had me a little bit less than where I normally was, but I'd say overall it's, it's a, it's a pretty good run. And I'm going to talk about some of the, some of the details, some of the aspects, some of the things you want to look out for. 
uh, during the run. I think it might be a little bit better to point that out as it's happening. So, yeah, I don't think there's anything else I really need to mention um, prior to that. So, I will see you on the next screen. All right, first off, don't be fooled. You're going to see me retry uh, a couple times here before the actual run is played. Um, it's going to give me an opportunity to just get a couple things out of the way um, before the gameplay actually starts. Um, so as soon as the run starts, you're going to immediately switch the bullseye, tap on the auto attack. It's going to shoot you over to the beast. Um, be careful not to actually let one of his arrows fly. Otherwise, you can activate a proc. Um, then you're gonna go into three. Be careful on the three though, because it likes to likes to stick a little bit. You gotta you gotta sit there for a second. Um, then into the four, and you're gonna kind of have to get used to the timing on this. Took took me you know just a little while to get used to the timing, but you know to get it just right. Where as soon as he's like stepping, but like as soon as he hits you know shoots those arrows, um, then you're gonna hit the six. And you actually want the proc to activate on the explosion on four. When you hit six, you're going to cancel six as soon as you see like Aries and Moonstone, you know, uh, drop out of the sky into five and then into two and one. Now, five, I believe where you want the proc to 100% um, be in effect is when those explosions go off. It's a delayed effect. So you're going to want to, yeah. Um, it's why a lot of times like, you know, I'll, I'll restart if, you know, the initial proc isn't, isn't time bright, but that's why, you know, you want to try to definitely get that proc to start on that four, um, and rotations. I wouldn't say it's simple, but it's three, four, six, five, two, one, and then four, three, five, two, one. Um, sometimes, you know, I feel like you can get away with um maybe going four five and then three uh I, I i did that a few times i didn't notice a, a real difference in the damage because i don't know maybe somebody can correct me if i'm wrong but i feel like the so there's a buff on three it's an all attack buff and because there's a delayed effect on five where most of the damage comes from right those explosions if you hit that three before those explosions you know pump off you're still getting that that effect on it. Um, somebody correct me if I'm wrong on that. If you need to hit three before you actually hit the five, or if you hit three and all the damage after that is stacked up on that buff. Maybe someone can clarify that. Um, so yeah, you know, pay attention to the run. You'll you'll see where you know where I cancel. Um, you know, as soon as they drop out of the sky, that that's when you have five. And yeah, you gotta, you just gotta get used to the timing on 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 that four. Now with Raven's rotation, I'm doing three, four, five, let five play into into six. Sometimes I'll hit two after the five, depending on depending on where the proc is. If the proc activated late, um, just because you don't want to hit six with you know four seconds left. On, on the proc, I don't know. I, I might have I might have done that, but you don't want to do that. Essentially, you want to hit six when there's two seconds left on proc. So for a little delay, you can hit that two after the five. You know, you do that little spin attack and then go into the six. Um, I do feel like the damage on you know do, doing the other rotation, the three uh, three cancel four left four play out cancel when you, you see Wolverine and then into the five. I feel like that does more damage, but um, you wanna get you wanna get through Raven's rotation very quickly because you want bullseye in as much as as much as possible. So doing the three, four, five and then into the six is gonna be is gonna be your best bet on, on today. Uh, yeah, another thing is so Raven and Zemo they both like to they both like to strike today, um, and you want so sometimes you might not want to attack during the during the, you know the beast roar you know if Zemo is going to be out while you need to you need to cancel while you need to switch and, and cancel so you know pay attention to that that got me 
hung up a couple times. All right, so I'm gonna stop jibber jabbering. I'm gonna get out of here. It's already too long, too long, too late. Um, so I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.